This is Voting Unpacked, your neutral and educational guidebook to the 2024 election. This week, we will cover the amendments you can expect to see on your Florida ballot. Amendment 1 is to make school board elections a partisan matter. Some argue you should vote yes on Amendment 1, which would add the political party onto the ballot next to the school board candidates' names in future elections, because this would give voters more information on Election Day. Others argue you should vote no on Amendment 1 to keep school board elections nonpartisan because schools should avoid polarizing party politics so they remain a place where everybody feels welcome. So a vote yes on Amendment 1 is to add political party onto the ballot in the next school board elections, and a vote no is to keep school board elections nonpartisan. Amendment 2 would add a right to fish and hunt to the Florida Constitution. Some argue you should vote yes on Amendment Number 2 to establish a right to hunt and fish in the Florida State Constitution because hunting and fishing is an important part of the state's culture and economy. Others argue you should vote no on Amendment Number 2 to refrain from adding this right to the Florida Constitution because adding this to the state constitution might make it harder to place restrictions on fishing and hunting to conserve various wildlife species. So, on Amendment Number 2, a vote yes would establish a right to hunt and fish in the Florida State Constitution, and a vote no would refrain from adding this right. Amendment Number 3 covers marijuana legalization. Some argue you should vote yes to legalize recreational marijuana use in Florida for those 21 and older, because this would bring a new tax revenue to the state, and it would allow for more regulation on safety of the drug by the state. Others argue you should vote no to keep marijuana legal for medical purposes only because it would lead to legalizing marijuana would lead to more marijuana use overall and therefore more marijuana abuse such as underage use or driving high and it could increase public cost of drug related problems. So again, a vote yes would legalize recreational marijuana and a vote no would keep it legal for only medical purposes. Amendment number four has to do with the abortion law in Florida. Some people argue you should vote yes on Amendment Number 4 to legalize abortion any time before the period of fetal viability, approximately 24 weeks, or when a health care provider says it is necessary, because the current six-week abortion ban is tantamount to making abortion illegal since it is challenging to get a doctor's appointment that early in pregnancy, and it is important to protect women's bodily freedom. Others argue you should vote no to retain current abortion law as legal in the first six weeks of pregnancy, because six weeks is is when a heartbeat begins, which means life has begun, and it is important to protect life. So again, a vote yes on Amendment 4 would legalize abortion any time before approximately 24 weeks. A vote no would retain current abortion law as legal in the first six weeks. Amendment 5 proposes an inflation adjustment on the homestead tax exemption. Some argue you should vote yes on Amendment 5, which would raise the homestead tax exemption each year according to inflation, because inflation increases property values, which in turn increases the taxes of homeowners, and this will help relieve the financial burden of inflation on homeowners. Others argue you should vote no to keep current homestead tax exemptions as they are, because this amendment would decrease tax revenue for important local government programs. All in all, a vote yes is to raise is a vote to raise homestead tax exemption each year according to inflation, and a vote no is a vote to keep current homestead tax exemptions as they are. Amendment 6 proposes a repeal of public campaign financing. Some argue you should vote yes on Amendment 6 to repeal a provision that provides public funding for statewide candidates who agree to spending limits because taxpayer money should not be used for election purposes. Others argue you should vote no on Amendment 6 to retain the provision that provides public funding for statewide candidates who agree to spending limits because this allows candidates who may not already have money or political connections to have a more level playing field when running for statewide office. So a vote yes on Amendment 6 is a vote to repeal public campaign financing and a vote no on Amendment 6 is a vote to retain public campaign financing. Tune in next Friday for our next video, which will cover the philosophical question, do you have an ethical obligation to vote? This video is a part of the Voting Unpacked series produced by Broward College Online, and I'm your guide, Professor Haley Mathis. 
Check back every Friday leading up to the big election on November 5th for a new video to learn more about how to vote.